Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and we're going to be solving a right triangles problem. The first thing that you want to do with a right triangles problem is try to figure out which formula is going to be most useful for uh, figuring out the unknowns. So the first thing you want to do is circle where the unknowns are. If you f see here, what you don't know is the value A in both of the legs. So uh, we realize very quickly that we're going to need to find out the value of the legs to try to figure out what A is, and hopefully be able to solve for the value A squared plus 9. Now, for the Pythagorean theorem, just in case you don't remember, is we are squaring both legs of the triangle, uh, one we're going to call A and one we're going to call B, and the sum of both of these values is going to equal the sum of the, val of the length of the hypotenuse square, um, squared. So what we're going to do here is um, apply this formula to this triangle. Now, forget the A and B from this formula. Now we're going to be working only with the a from the formula down here. So the length of one of the sides is 9 minus a squared. And I encourage you to write, whenever you have um, a value where you have a numerical value, plus or minus uh, a variable, to write them out like this as opposed to writing squares. So you remember not to just square the 9 and the negative a. Uh, and then we're going to do the exact same thing with the 9 plus a here. Um, so really, we've already turned this geometry problem very quickly into an algebra problem. Um, and I think the reason so many of you are getting caught up in this problem in particular, since it's been one that's been requested a lot, is the algebra that goes along with solving this. So um, keep in mind that when you have an equation like this, you want to apply FOIL, by which I mean you want to solve first for the first value in um, in this case, so you're going to multiply the 9 here by the 9 here first, 81. Then the outer value, so the 9 and the negative a second, so you're going to have minus 9a. Then the inner values, so the negative a times the 9, so you're going to have, whoops, you're going to have another minus 9a. And then the last term. So you're going to have negative a times negative a, which a negative times a negative is a positive a squared. Uh, now you're going to go on and do the exact same thing on this side. So using FOIL, you've got the first terms first. So 9 times 9 is 81 again. The outer terms plus 9a. The inner terms plus 9a again. Um and then the outer terms plus a squared. And we don't want to forget that this equals 144. So really we have negative 18a or two negative 9a's here that are going to cancel out with these two positive 9a's or a positive 18a, and we're left with 81 and a squared. Uh, now to save us time, we're going to go ahead and keep that as two times since we have two 81's and two a squareds. And we know that this is going to equal 144. Uh, now, if we divide 144 by 2, we're going to have, um, what is that, 72. We can already cancel out the 2. And we know that 81 plus a squared is 72. So if we subtract 81 from the 72 at the other end of the equation, we're going to be left with 9. So a squared equals negative 9. So the value of a would then be 3i, or 3 times the square root of 1, which is an imaginary number. Now, if you think this is too difficult for you, just remember that a squared equals negative 9. So if we're going to be solving this problem, the figure shown is a right triangle. What is the value of a squared plus 9? You know, this value for a squared is going to be negative 9, and negative 9 plus 9 would equal 0. So <clears throat> this would seem to be the answer. Um, yeah, but it cannot be any of the other ones. So none of these are possible. Hope this helped, and good luck with your studying.